Oh. Filming us. <laughs> Hi, Franny Bear. I have my typical morning hair. Typical morning hair. Good morning. Cheers. So did you like me and Bart cooking last night? Can you guys believe it? Bart surprised me. Bart came home around 6.30 last night. He didn't even tell me. And he like walked through the door and I was like, Bart? Me and Franny both looked up. We're like, is that Bart? He never gets home that early. But I had texted him earlier that I had got our HelloFresh box and that I was excited to cook some of the meals and he didn't want me to cook alone, so he came home. So guys, HelloFresh sent us that box yesterday and they are sponsoring this video. So some of the stuff that I really like about HelloFresh is one, it is like insanely convenient. You can pick any day of the week that you would like them to deliver your meals. Also, you can pick from their classic, their vegetarian option or their family option. And you know me and Bart right now are on the vegetarian train. It's super simple. Meals take about 30 or so minutes to make. When I make them by myself, it's like in a flash. Cooking with Bart, he's joking, we're laughing, he's dropping tomatoes on the floor. It takes a little bit longer. <laughs> and HelloFresh has me stepping out of my comfort zone and cooking things that I would like never know to try myself or never know to cook myself. And my absolute overall favorite thing about HelloFresh is that I don't have to think. I don't have to think, I don't have to plan my meals and my recipes and then go to the grocery store and buy all the ingredients and measure them all out. I don't have to do any. All of that is taken care of for me when I receive my package. It's all pre-measured and you get a really nifty little card. I show you guys, I showed you guys last night and it's like step by step. It's so easy. So guys, for $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, go to hellofresh.com and enter promo code STELLA30 at checkout. So guys, today I have a flight attendant trip. I have not worked in a minute. I was trying to drop my trips. We thought Bart was gonna go out of town um, last week on Sunday, he ended up, his trip got pushed back a week, so he's actually going out of town this weekend. So I had dropped all my trips. I was like, oh, I gotta drop my trips, I gotta take care of Franny. And so all my trips got dropped and Bart didn't go. And so I haven't worked in like a week or two. <laughs> so today I have a trip, but I don't have sign in until I think like 6.30, maybe 5.30. I gotta recheck my, um, recheck my, my, my schedule. Franny, are you helping mom pack? Are you trying to jump in that suitcase? He does not want mom to go. What are you doing, Fran Fran? <laughs> All right, guys, just got out of the shower. I've got to pack my work suitcase. So I'm not going to be gone for too long. It's a three-day trip, 
but we only have one flight tonight and we get in pretty late so I don't really anticipate doing much so I'm not really gonna bring too many things but I kind of wanted to show you guys what I pack for a three day because one day tonight we're gonna end up in Colorado and tomorrow night we're gonna end up in Miami so two like completely different climates all right so this looks overwhelming but we're gonna start this is my crew bag so I just have an extra undergarment there I have two workout shoes I always bring my curling wand just in case I always bring a small umbrella you just never know if you need that it fits right there it's my oyster card if I'm in London over here I have extra vitamins and in here I also have like a booty band and some gloves if I decide to go to the gym so then what I'll do is I'll take my toiletry bag will go right there this is a workout outfit so some socks um, a workout outfit guys <laughs> I'm eventually gonna put that into one of these packing cubes I always bring two basic tops so these are just two short sleeve shirts a white and a gray with a pair of basic blue jeans here this is my handbag that I'm gonna be wearing this can double as a fanny pack and also a shoulder bag that's Lululemon. I love how versatile it is. This is just a pair of very light shoes if I want to walk around in Miami and I have a shoe bag for that. In Miami, I might go to the beach. So I've got just a simple white bathing suit. I've got a little cover up for the bathing suit and a pair of shorts. And then over here is just some undergarments which will also go in there and this is my electronics so i've got chargers um extra camera batteries everything in there oh and my computer is charging i'll also take that with me JFK with a minute to spare before head sign in. I know I was supposed to be early this year, but it was like my time got away from me today. <laughs> off to the airport, off through security, then to my gate, then to Colorado. well do i look like i'm in vale do i look like i'm in colorado does this look like an apartment or does this look like a hotel room i'm definitely back home you guys i didn't end up going on my trip basically i get all the way to jfk i took the train i got to jfk and i Got, before I went through security, I was like, oh, I forgot my toothpaste. I already knew I forgot my toothpaste. So I was like, I have to go buy just a little small thing of toothpaste. So I go to the convenience store right outside of security and I go to buy toothpaste and I couldn't find my wallet. I'm like, where did my wallet go? I just bought my Metro card with my wallet. And I remember right after I bought my Metro card, I was in a hurry. I put my wallet in my jacket pocket and got on the subway. I think between those two transactions, I don't think my wallet went into my jacket. I don't know. I have a sweater on, I have a jacket, I had all my luggage, I had my lunch pail, I had like so much going on that 
I think I lost my wallet. So I get to JFK and I'm like frantic. I'm like, where's my wallet? And get into the crew lounge and I speak with the manager and I just start bawling. I just start hysterically crying. I'm like, I lost my wallet. I have no money to go on my trip. You know, I don't have an ATM, a debit, even a credit card. I have nothing. I don't have a cash. I have nothing. So I got removed from my trip and I'm back home now. I had enough, I put $20 on my Metro card, so I had enough money to come back home. And I'm just like, I feel like such a bonehead. I feel so stupid. I was riding in the subway back. I'm like, I can't believe I lost my wallet, all my like cards, my ID. I'm just like, I feel so stupid. I feel so just airhead and I'm so upset and I really was excited to go to work and I had a good three day trip and I was all packed and now I'm back home. So uh, Bart just texts me, he's like, I think you need pizza. I'm like, I think I need pizza too. I've canceled all my credit cards and um, well, I only had, yeah, I canceled all my cards. There was a card in there that was um, mine and Bart's joint account, so I already called him and told him to cancel it, so they canceled my card. And I'm getting new ones, and then tomorrow I have to figure out how to get a new license. And I'm just so down right now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I lost my wallet and my card and that wallet had such sentimental value to me um me and Bart had bought it in Germany in Munich at the Louis Vuitton store and I just remember we had like such a good day and he bought it for me and I was so excited and now I'm like I lost my caught my wallet that you bought me <laughs> all right guys so we will see what happens tomorrow I'm gonna eat pizza when Bart gets home. <laughs> I'm gonna have as many slices as I want. This is happening, you guys. Domino's. Rough day. Rough day. <laughs> Rough day on the job. This cheesy bread is happening and so is this pizza. What kind did you get, babe? I got your olives and jalapenos. Oh my God. Bart got my favorite olives and jalapenos. Hi, Francis. Hey guys, good morning. Putting on some lip balm here. Ooh, it's bright outside. Surprise, surprise, that pizza did not make me feel better last night. It made me feel worse. <laughs> guys, good morning. Good morning, I am not on my flight attendant trip. Hi, Franny. <laughs> oh, sweet pea, hi. Hi. Hey, Muffin. So I am not on my flight attendant trip. I am home and I woke up this morning and I'm like, all right, we're gonna move on from what happened yesterday. Either your wallet got stolen or you lost it or you dropped it or you misplaced it. Hi. Always oh, hi. <laughs> but um, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to the mall today, or not the mall, but I'm gonna go to like, I don't know, um, Marshalls or Bloomingdale's or I don't know, I'm like, where did I buy my wallet before? I've got my wallet in Munich at the Louis Vuitton store there. So I'm like, I'm definitely not gonna buy another Louis Vuitton wallet because I can't be trusted with Louis Vuitton wallets. So I'm like, where can I just get a simple plain wallet around here, maybe like Target. But I'm like, wait, how am I gonna go buy it when I don't have a card to buy it with? You guys, I'm out walking and my dog walker's here. <laughs> Look, let me see, turn your back. <laughs> She's walking that one on her back because that one, poor little puppy's blind and Franny's right here. <laughs> He's so excited. You guys always ask me about my dog walker, so here she is. <laughs> she exists. Come on, Franny. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. So we are, I'm out walking Francis right now. We just saw his dog walker. She's so sweet. 
<laughs> she was carrying a little dog on her back. I was like, I gotta show them this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Guys, I'm vlogging on my iPhone. I've never done that before. This is fun. Guys, this is so crazy. I've never vlogged with my phone before. I'm like, do you guys like it? It's just like, I'm in the elevator right now, me and Franny. And he just got complimented on his sweater. This guy was like, wow, that's a cool sweater. I'm like, yeah, it's his mom. I got it for him for Christmas. Look out the window. Oh, someone's being a good boy in his bed because mom just got these from Amazon. He's getting a treat. You want an alligator, Franny? Okay, come here. Come here. Sit. 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 No, Franny, sit. Down. Oh, good boy. Sit. Wait. No, wait. Wait. No, no, shake. I didn't say shake. Wait. 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 Okay. Good boy. I love drinking out of cups like this. Not like the regular glass cups, but like water bottle type cups. I kind of feel like I'm in the jungle. We had to move our plant over here because this little guy down here started dying and Bart was like, you need to put the plant in the light. It needs to be by the sun or it needs to be by the window so the sun can hit it. I was like, I'm over this plant. I've killed so many plants. I just keep killing plants. I'm a plant killer. And like any time the sun is shining, I'm like throwing the plants over here by the light. Let there be light. It's tough. It's tough in the winter times in New York. Not a lot of light wants to come into the windows. Anyways guys, I am going to say goodnight to you guys and end the vlog here. Had a rough day yesterday. I feel a lot better today. Uh, I went over to my friend's house, told her the whole story. She's like, you for sure got mugged. Well, not mugged. What is that thing? Pickpocketed. Yeah, Bart's over here. I'm like, she's like, you for sure got pickpocketed. She's like, the subway is no joke. Well, I, you guys, I said that. Subway is no joke. But she's like, Subway, the people are like professionals in there. She was like, where did you put your wallet? I'm like, I put it in my pocket. She's like, yeah. She's like, you got pickpocketed. I was like, okay, that makes me feel better. There's still a very high chance that I actually still lost it 100% on my own. And I did not get pickpocketed. But it makes me feel a lot better that she was like, yeah, you got pickpocketed. I was like, you know what, you're right. It probably did. It probably did. Good night guys and I will see you next time hopefully for a flight attendant vlog because yeah